Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to part 2 of the tutorial on how to solve a Rubik's Cube 4x4. So in previous um, part we solved centers, so all those centers and now we're gonna solve all edges. Um, now this is my, this may be a lot more complicated but um, it's pretty easy when you first solve it. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with white um, edges. So let's say I'll begin with white and blue. So I have to find a white and blue pair, um, and here it is. And now I just um, have to put it down here and match it up. So if it's the same color, so it's, if it's blue and blue, just lift this one up and put it in. And now you, you should have opposite colors and then you can match them up. But if the colors are not opposite like here, you will not be able to match them up. So, um, I'm gonna quickly show you. Now, when the colors are opposite, just match them up and move this one up and then move a scrambled one down. And then move um, centers back so they match up. Okay, so now, we have one done so you could put it in place here but I normally just um, leave it there so now let's go for uh, um, white and green so here's one look around the cube here is second one just going to place it in so here this again match up the colors so I'm just gonna lift left one up and then put it in now match them up and then put them up and put the scrambled one down and then put the centers back okay so it's a pretty simple process um, I'm gonna show you very quickly all the other edges so white and orange it's already here I put it in put the scrambled one put it back now I see this one. This one got solved. So yeah, if you have luck, then you you will solve more edges at once. So let's insert this one in. Let's go for uh, red and white. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna show you what you have to do if they are opposite like that. So you, you see, you can't match them up. You have to put it out. And then put a scrambled one down and now as you can see they're um, like so and then they're not up they're not the same color so you have to put it to the left side and then leave the front layer and take it in okay so let's match them up like we do all of them I want think you have to watch out when you match them up don't put already done edge in here because when you put the centers back it will get scrambled so don't do that but put a scrambled pair in and it will just stay scrambled okay now we solved all white now we can get and solve all others it's the same Now we have two edges left, um, and it, it's a lot different to solve them because you can't really, like, um, it's a lot different. So I'm gonna show you how to solve them. So there's an algorithm that I'll put on the screen. It's a simple algorithm, so just follow my steps. Up layer counterclockwise, right layer up, up layer um, clockwise, right layer counterclockwise, front layer clockwise, right layer counterclockwise, front layer counterclockwise, right layer clockwise, and counterclockwise, um, front layer clockwise, 
I mean counterclockwise, up layer clockwise, front layer counterclockwise, and up both up layers clockwise. And then you should have all the edges soft. Okay, so as I said in the part one, you have to know how to solve three by three cube. So it's actually really simple. Um, so you have to solve first white cross. Um, doesn't matter if it's white; it can be yellow or any color. So I'm gonna just put the edges in, and then I'm just gonna quickly match it up. Um, you really need to know that. Uh, doesn't happen on 3x3. Three three. So this is called parity, it's OLL parity, so this should be flipped like that. So this happens because this cube doesn't have centers um, that do, do not move, but it, have cent it has centers that move. So I'm gonna show you how to solve that. So it's an algorithm that I'll show you now. So move the inner right layer counterclockwise, then move both up layers twice. Um, this there counterclockwise, um, and then front twice. This layer counterclockwise, and then front twice, and then this one twice and U2 R U2 R counterclockwise U2 F2 R2 and F2 so I'm gonna put the algorithm on screen um, it will be easier for you to solve it so now I we'll just solve that um, as 3 by 3 and yeah just solve the 4x4. Four four. It's basically a pretty simple cube, but it's kind of different because it's, it's like different method than 3x3. Three three. First you have to solve all the centers and edges, and then you have to pair them up and solve it like a 3x3. Three three. So them is like that. U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, and U2. It's actually really simple to remember, uh, maybe a little bit more simpler than OLL parity. And yes, it's pretty much it. It's actually a little simple. So yes, this was the tutorial 4x4. Let me know which tutorial should I do next or which queuing video should I do next. Um, so yes, it's, it's, if you didn't know yet, I post cubing videos every um Tuesday and Lego videos every Friday and then maybe some random videos around the whole week so yes this was the tutorial now yes I'll show you the quick pattern just move inner layers and then inner layers here and then inner layers here it's like a pretty cool pattern okay so this was it for this tutorial um let me know what should I do next and if you had any troubles let me know down in the comments below. And yes, thank you for watching. Let's get 60 likes. Peace out.